everyone welcome back to my channel and happy halloween today i'll show you how to do this very cute and easy spiderweb nail art design using some gel polishes so stay tuned and let's jump right into it after your nails are fully prepped for a gel manicure go ahead and apply your favorite base coat i'm using this one from the dnd soak off gel all-in-one collection next you want to send your nails to cure in your led lamp for 60 seconds now take a flesh tone, pink or nude color that matches your skin tone, one that you typically would grab for creating a very basic French manicure. And the one I'm using is OPI gel color in the color Bare My Soul. Apply one layer and send to cure for 60 seconds. Now I'm going to take my black gel polish. This one is from Melody Susie in the color Black Pearl. It is a bit sheer, so I'll have to build up a couple layers, but if you have one that is more opaque, feel free to use that. I'm gonna use the edge of the brush to carefully carve out a French tip. Don't forget to paint along the free edge for a longer lasting manicure and send it to cure. As you can see, the French tips are quite sheer, so I'm gonna add another layer to build up the color. Feel free to use a detailed brush dipped into some acetone to clean up any of the edges. Next, take any white gel polish. This one is by OPI Gel Color in the color Suzy Chases Portuguese. <laughs> I know it sounds like a really long name, but I'll be sure to link all the products used down below in the description bar. So I'm just going to place some product onto a piece of paper to make it easier for me to create the nail art design. In order to create our spider webs, I'm going to be using a nail art detailing brush. This one is by OPI and dipping it into that white gel polish and paint a line down the middle that goes from the free edge towards the cuticle line, but not all the way through. From the middle point at the free edge, you want to connect two shorter lines on each side of that middle line that we first created. This will give you a V shape. Then connect the lines with inverted arches or curved lines that look like little U-shapes going from the left side of the nail to the right. As you can see, I'm doing three rows across, but you can also do four if you have the length for it. Then set your nails to cure for 60 seconds. Last but not least, apply your favorite top coat for that added shine and a longer lasting manicure. The one I'm using is from DMD from the Soak Off Gel All-in-One Collection. Then set it to cure for the final time. As you can see, the skin around my nails and cuticles are getting really dry due to the change in cold weather. So I highly advise using an oil to help solve this problem. The one I'm using is called CND Essential Solo Oil. It is a nail and cuticle conditioner. And I would apply a couple of drops to the cuticle line and just rub it in with my fingers. Until it's fully absorbed and then follow through with a hand lotion or hand cream for healthy and hydrated looking hands. And that takes us to the end of this Halloween nail art tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Please have a happy and safe Halloween out there and I will see you soon in the next one.